Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Monday the 26th of October. The local media headlines today. Cornwall Council will fund an emergency food package for children forced to go without a school meal during the holidays, but not until Christmas. The Council has found £400,000, which means that each of the 13,000 children in Cornwall who rely on a school meal will get something over the festive period. But the Council's intervention comes too late to be of much use this week, leaving many local businesses and some town councils to act on their own initiative. Cornwall Reports also forecasts that this one isn't going away, observing that there are few issues which can get local Conservative MPs banned from pubs and cafes in their own constituencies. Saturday's Covid numbers were even more scary than usual, and in Falmouth locals appear to have shaken off the dead hand of county hall bureaucracy and bad contracts to take back control of the Princess Pavilion and Gardens. Well done, Falmouth. Meanwhile, the Falmouth packet was among those to report on a bit of a flap at the Royal Cornwall Hospital in Truro, where a fire broke out in the main tower block. It was only a small fire and was quickly extinguished, but in a building as complex as an acute hospital, there were patients to be moved and staff to be evacuated while the firefighters attended. Pirate FM noted the official launch of this year's Poppy Appeal. The Cornish Times covered a local harvest festival. And finally, Cornwall Live had a picture of an octopus. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.